Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Sizzle or Fizzle. I'm Rick. And this is your boy, Cass. And as always, we listen to different music, different genres. We decide what we like, what we don't like. We give our take on it. And at the end of the day, does the track sizzle or does it fizzle? Mm. Cass, you know what we got for him today? Nope. Yeah. We're going back a ways. We're going back. We're, we're doing some Hall and Oates because, you know, Good grief. who doesn't like Daryl Hall and John Oates? We've heard this, obviously. So this is more of a review instead of a reaction. Uh, but we're going live. This It's back from the 80s, but it was uh, recorded live. And it's a family man from Hall and Oates. One of their one of their many, many hits. And see, actually, that song came from someone else. And they they did it as a cover a year later. And really? They got popular on it. Yeah, it was uh it was uh a guy named Mike Oldfield and Maggie Riley. And it was done in uh, I think yeah, 82. And then a year later, Hall and Oates uh did it as a cover tune, if I read it right. Read, did it as a cover tune. And next thing you know, boing. well, I tell you what, if that's the case, uh, I'm still learning things off of old songs years later. I like that. Mm -hmm. That's what you pay me for. Well, let's go ahead and kick it off then. Here they are, Hall and Oates yeah. with Family Man. <laughs> thoughts so far because um up until this point i mean i kind of knew but never really paid attention to it i, I kind of forgot that daryl hall could uh play guitar i usually see john on guitar and then they've got their uh their band guitarist as well i used to see him on like piano and keyboards yeah they were saying that he primarily uh, does the singing and john does the guitar but he has other abilities that he didn't show very much, I guess. But yeah, I I I dig the song for numerous reasons so far. Um, I think live is going to have to be adjustment this time. <laughs> it's usually the live that pushes, that pushes me over, but I think live is going to be what's going to put. Had to, I'm going to have to work on now. So, mm, interesting. All right, let's yeah, get back to I, it because I I I. I, I, I I specifically had you in mind when I went with the live version. Because uh, I'm like, we've all heard the regular version. Let's go ahead and go with the live one. Yeah, I mean, but this is, it's still early. It's still early. Still but early. yeah, typically, yeah, live is what usually puts me over the edge. But this this song, I just have to prematurely give the information and say that it, I, I'm already biased because of old times' sake. I mean, this song was what, 83, I think? Yeah. Yeah. So 82, uh, actually. Uh, when it originally came out so yeah i'm a little biased already but um yeah give me the give me the give me the cover tune so far <laughs> <laughs> All Although, right. i like the riffs that that john is doing uh during uh the verses i do like that all right i'm gonna check that out then let's get back to it she gave him Check for me. 
I'm gonna stop it one more time. I just uh, I was figuring out who was doing what parts on all three of those guitars. So it took me a yeah. second, but yeah, I got it. I got it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I, I growing up, I always thought it was John doing all the guitar solos, but no. In the music video, though, he is doing that. So no. it's like, hey, do we make ourselves look like a star in the video? Or well, I mean, technically, they wrote it, so I guess they can do that. But and I guess the band's named after them. So, uh, yep. Yeah. Well, it it, it is Hall and Oates. The, the 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 session musicians, which were also his touring band, I believe that was G. E. Smith and I forget the others, but they were also on Saturday Night Live. They were the uh, session musician for the longest on Saturday Night Live, so they were pretty popular they, in their own right. They had a very very long list of people that have been in and or around that band over the years. So I decided not to even track it. I, I just, I normally print off the graphics and you see that such and such was there from pillar to post and the other one was there from this pillar to that post, but not this pillar that came out. I went through all that stuff like, no, but not even bother. Yeah. So it, it, it's all about you, the hall and the oats. You'd have better luck with NFL free agency than trying to go through who's been in and out of their band. So... Hmm, that's not an assignment, is it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get back to it. Hall and Oates, Family Man. This is actually a short and simple one, actually, that um, uh, most people, me included, have always called the band Hall & Oates. That's all I knew. That's all I know. That's all it's ever been. However, somebody named Daryl 
actually says the name of the band is Daryl Hall and John Oates, not Hall and Oates. And he's pretty stern about it, they say. So for those of us and you and us and we and them, stop it. Stop it. I'm not going to lie. I'm I'm guilty of that, too. <laughs> On this very show in the opening, uh, I said Hall and Oates, I believe. And and I apologize. Daryl, John, if y'all out there, I apologize. <laughs> Daryl Hall and John Oates. So, bro. Yo. Um, I see what you mean when I ran this live version. It's not bad. Um, there, there's some things that I appreciate even more about the um, studio version. Um, to me, the bass line on the studio version was just killer. Yeah, it's more, pro is, it, is it more prominent? Is it more yes, prominent? yes. Yeah. Especially yeah. Ev after every verse, it changes. Mm. It's pretty simple at the, at, at, during the first verse. Then it's like, almost double time in the second verse. And then in the final verse, it's just changed over completely. And you could hear that during the last verse, but it, it wasn't, like you said, as prominent. Now, I will mm -hmm. say this, though. The redeeming quality in this video was the uh, their bandmates uh, guitar play solo at the end. I did like that. Your bias. Your guitar solo bias. Me? Guitars? Say it isn't so. It isn't so. Okay, thank you for saying that. All right. But other than advantage of watching live is that when you're listening to the studio track, when you're questioning or wondering or something, going live, you can look at it and go, all right, so there's actually three guitars out there. Oh, there's a, there are boards on there. Okay, so there are, okay, drummers using, okay. That, so that's another advantage. I did... One thing I did truly like of the live is there's a part where they were going, leave me alone. Ooh, uh, uh, oh. I, I, I was digging that. I was digging that. I wanted to go, ooh, uh, 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 leave me alone. Ooh, uh, 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 uh. That sounds yeah, like that. I mean, right? Live versions do help you appreciate uh, what the artist does. So that's cool. So, well... Oh, there's also actually three different versions of the video. There's three different music videos of, of this, which I didn't know. I knew and about two of them. So if it helped me out, fill me in. There's a third. Yeah. the Because I know one of them is just a longer version of the other. The first one was the one then with like the kids and stuff. And then mm -hmm. the second one, the longer one is the third one. The second one mm. is there's actually a family that's watching that original, the first video, and they are gradually transforming into Daryl Hall and John Oates as the video goes. Damn. So okay. that's the second. Nice. Mm. Look mm -hmm. at that. Mm. I do give this a sizzle. Uh, based on, of course, the studio version. Yeah. Um, again, nothing really wrong with the uh, live version. It has some redeeming qualities, but this is one where I probably would have, should have, could have played the studio version, and I think we would have got more out of it. But because everybody already knows this song, or you should know this song, if you're of a certain age, that's the reason why we went live. Oh, it adds a little zest to it, and then maybe it'll entice somebody to go and check out the original, the the studio track. Yeah. So, but for me, it's a it's a it's a sizzle. It's not a sizzle, but I think I would sizzle the studio track more than I would do the live. Um, there was just I don't know. There was more oomph, which is not normal actually. More oomph behind the studio track. So. And the way his vocals, the way uh, uh, Daryl's vocals are, are are a lot more stronger and clearer and and, and fuller uh, to me. On the I agree with that. Track. I agree. So 
Um, I love the notes he reaches uh, in natural tone. So that's cool too. So sizzle for me, not a, not a grand sizzle, but it's a sizzle nonetheless. So sizzle gang, what do you guys think? And think? are you guys big fans of Hall, Daryl Hall and John Oates? See, I almost said it. I almost, I almost huh? said Hall and Oates. They, they, they going to come get me. Gonna get me. So before we get out of here, if anybody happens to know or if they happen to be watching themselves, Daryl Hall and John Oates and Daryl, John, John and Daryl, one, both. If y'all want to come on for an interview, oh, we, man, we, on, we would love to have you. Come on, man. We'd love to. Because love to. I have a feeling we could discuss a lot of things musically with this band because uh, they, they've been around for a minute. Mm, they've been around for an hour. And the rest of Sizzle Gang, what's your favorite Daryl Hall and John Oates song? Leave us a message. Let us know. Let us know. Appreciate you. As always, stay positive, stay blessed. And no matter what's going on in your life, people, please, please, please keep it moving. Later. Later. If you like this video, watch another one right here. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Just click right here. I got lots of cool content, movies, music, and television. Explore everything. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. <laughs>